I'm on my way back from uh, Chicago in uh, 2012 Mazda 3 and I'm happy to report that the gas mileage of this car is amazing. Uh, I had my doubts because most of the miles or kilometers I do you know are inside the city and I didn't notice any anything spectacular but then I started driving towards Chicago and it's uh, 500 miles one way or about 800 kilometers uh, and I fueled up three times. I left uh, Canada with uh, probably half a tank. So my first fuel, uh, my first uh, fuel stop was uh, in uh, Lapeer, Michigan. Uh, this was a mobile uh, gas station, and uh, recently I switched to using a mid-grade gas because you know I love my car and it's it's built in Japan, so I don't really like to put some you know the cheapest gas so I just go with the mid-grade which here in in US it's 89 so this was so I put in 11.98 gallons US at 360 per gallon for the total amount of uh, 43 bucks and 26 cents and each time by the way each time I uh, fuel I reset my tripodometer so I know exactly well almost exactly how many kilometers I did from the last fuel up and then I just fuel up the tank you know, uh, so I know how many liters or gallons, whatever, depending where I fuel, because in Canada it's all in liters, right? So now, uh, when I fueled up in uh, in Lapeer, I did uh, 540 kilometers or 337 miles, right? And I put in 11.98 gallons, which is 45.28 liters. And I, after some very complex calculations in, involving uh, whole bunch of different tools and instruments I came out I came up with this number 8.38 liters per hundred kilometers or 28.38 miles per gallon that was my uh, gas mileage but like I said I crossed into US uh, with probably half a tank and uh, I think uh, maybe like 30 percent of my of my driving in Canada was uh, inside the city you know, or twenty-five percent, and then when I started driving, I was I used cruise control all the time, and basically hundred fifteen kilometers an hour, or just above seventy miles per hour, because the speed limit in Michigan is seventy, and uh, so I was, you know, it was okay, but nothing, nothing to write home about, right? And then I reached Chicago and fueled up at uh, Speedway here because my friend in Chicago said that's where she gets like the best price and uh, actually in Michigan it was uh, how much I paid in Michigan? Michigan I paid the 360 now the the best price in Chicago for the same mid-grade gas was a 376 and this time I did 659 kilometers and uh, which is 411 miles and I put in 11.53 gallons okay so I didn't count the liters but uh, after you know you divide 4, 4 11 by 1 1.53 that's 35 miles to get to the uh, you know per gallon which is already a big improvement compared to 28.38 right and then I started driving back the same speed you know and by the way, at that speed of uh, 72 miles per hour, uh, my RPM is pretty low. It's only uh, roughly 3100, 3100, because I have a 2 liter engine. Uh, but I did some improvements, right? Uh, the, uh, mo probably the most noticeable was the uh, replacement of the muffler. Um, now I have a Spintech performance muffler. Uh, I'm pretty sure that added horsepower, and so the car saves on fuel at a steady at a steady pace. I'm not I'm not driving 200 kilometers an hour, right? I'm just using that horsepower to save fuel. And then um, I replaced the factory tires. Uh, my new tires are bigger. And the last thing I did, I put in a K&N filter, not air intake, just that, you know, a filter that uh, uh, filters air better and probably lets in uh, more air inside the engine, so that increased the power too. 
So it's a really fast little car because it's so light, it weighs only 2,000 pounds. But anyway, so, and now I'm sitting in the, I wanted to, I, on the way back I stopped in Lapierre, but the store was closed, like the signs on each pump saying uh, no power. I guess they had the same storm that hit Chicago uh, yesterday, they had it probably here too. Uh, and then I stopped here, this is exit uh, 176 on I-69, I stopped here in my truck all the time. There were McDonald's here, there's a, a parking for trucks, and this is a BP, right? So now, I fueled up, measured my mileage, so I did 586 kilometers or 366 miles since my last fuel up. And I put in 10.65 uh, gallons US. The price here at 375, pretty much same as in Chicago. And uh, so 366 miles, 10.65 gallons, that's 34.38 miles per gallon, you know. Uh, a bit worse than I was uh, doing uh, when I filled up in Speedway, but there's, uh, the wind was stronger coming this way. I think uh, there was no wind uh, when I was driving west, but now it's pretty windy, like the car goes like this, you know. But all, all in all, I don't know, like it's... Uh, oh, actually I even have the liters. For those that think in metric, it's 6.86 .6 liters. Per hundred kilometers, which for me is amazing, since I'm driving at you know 115 kilometers an hour or 72 miles per hour, so it's great. Um, so uh, highly pleased with my uh, real real life uh, gas mileage uh, experiment. So love the car. Uh, recommend it to anyone who wants any who needs a small car and doesn't have a whole bunch of kids or pets or you know or or other domestic animals. And home sweet home. I'm crossing the uh, Blue Water Bridge. That's US. On that side there's Canada. From here it's two hours to uh, Cambridge, Ontario.